the way hunger works is that if you don't give it attention it's like a pregnancy it can be aborted it doesn't matter what you receive the pressure you felt in the meeting if you don't guard the ground you gained the progress you made it can be aborted by the grace of God I know what it means also Dan Ladi was even a part of that retreat 90 days in God's presence I have seen people look nothing like three months with God because of this same disaster of being distracted so on behalf of the organizers I am apologizing if at any point we have been a distraction to the journey you are making. I want to advise you to be wise. That thing you are feeling now, you were not feeling it before now. You can stop feeling it. It's your choice. That's what I'm saying. The journey you have made now, you had not made it before now. Mercy brought you to this point you are in right now. Ensure you don't lose that ground. And how do we guard the ground? Shut up. Avoid distractions. Stay away from any conversation that will take you on a journey backwards. If you need to go to your room and stay there and shut up for once in your life, shut up. We are saying this because God doesn't work with crowd. We said this yesterday. If five people in this campus can have sense. So please, if you have listened, shut down the noise, shut down the distractions, shut down the plans that are irrelevant that you have for today. And stay where you need to be and journey with what God is doing in your heart. Is that clear? That's basically what we are saying. I believe wisdom will teach you if you will do it on this chair, if you will do it on the ground, wherever you will be, ensure you don't allow any what? Distractions. And if for any reason whatsoever, you were sitting there wondering, because I could hear some people's thoughts, wondering what's happening to this brother that's not happening to me. Why is this person responding like this? I'm showing you why. Many of you are far away, away, far away. This is a journey to call you back to sense. And so ensure that you at least ask the father, please, what you are doing in that brother on the third row? Can you please do it to me? I want to feel what that sister is feeling. Can I feel what this pastor is saying? I have never had an encounter before. Lord Jesus, this is day two. I beg you. I beg you. If I'm the only one, if I'm the only one you gathered all these graces for, is somebody hearing what I'm saying? So I leave the ball in your court and I trust that the Holy Ghost will help you to guard the ground that you are gaining in the name of Jesus. God bless you.